So we found it was a very long journey to Athena Swan Gold. So probably one of my top tips is just keep going and don't be disillusioned. And people do ask me quite a lot about what the benefits of Athena Swan Gold are. And I think it just shows a commitment to gender equality, which I think is a really important thing. And to have really good policies in place and keep striving to improve those. And I guess keep going regardless of whether you actually get an award or not. I mean, an award is a badge that you've succeeded but we're involved in the Athena Swan journey because we want to do things to improve our, our gender equality and improve our processes. So that's the reason that we're doing it, which I think is a really good thing. So I'd say my three top tips would be, first of all, to make sure that you divide the work up between the different members of the self-assessment team. So it's not one person writing the whole application. You give specific people responsibility for different parts, looking at the data, writing a narrative and coming up with some action points. That makes the whole process much easier and gets buy-in from the whole team. Second, I would say make sure you present your data really clearly so that the um, panel who have to read lots of applications can, um, can see very clearly what it is that your data is showing. So think of it more like um, presenting a, a grant application in, in that sense. And finally, um, to make your action point actions smart. So make sure that they're assigned to a specific person on the team, that you put a timeline on when they're going to be achieved. So it's very clear what you're setting out to do. Without a doubt, the best thing is to do uh, network widely, talk to as many people either within your own university as you can or very importantly make links with other universities, with colleagues etc to get their very best uh, ideas as well and make sure that you're constantly looking to strive and improve. That's, that, that, that will go a very long way then. Uh, my top tip is to make sure that your action plan is smart so make sure that your actions are specific that they're measurable, that you've put targets in place and that you can check progress, that you've got the right balance between them being achievable and ambitious, that they're relevant to your university or department's context, and that they're time bound so that they're spread out over three years. So one thing that we learned at Biology at York was how important it is to basically steal other people's ideas. So it's really good to have ideas of your own that are relevant to the situation in your department. But coming to events like this, you can talk with people and you can find out what other people are doing. And then you just blatantly plagiarise them and take them home and, 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 pl and play them out back in York. So that's one of the reasons I come, is just to find out all of the good things that other people are doing and take them back to York and, and do them there. So um, I would say that one of the great things about having um, these events is a really great chance to share best practice between people in the same area. So the biosciences have a specific set of problems around Athena Swan, around a leaky pipeline, so lots of female um, undergraduates but very, very few female professors, um, which is a very different set of challenges to other areas of STEM. So it's really great to focus in on what works for us as a sector. The benefits are that we've got all of the five life sciences societies together here. There's a huge cross-fertilisation of ideas. There's probably 40, 50 different universities here too. So people are meeting new contacts. They're already exchanging ideas. They'll be following it up over the next weeks. And we want to take all of the feedback from the sessions, look at actions that each of societies will undertake, and then perhaps hold a, another event in 12 months time to see how we're doing. Uh, the greatest thing about today is that people can learn from their peers so they get to talk to people at all levels of the process whether they're making their first application or trying to feedback after an application was unsuccessful and you can even hear from people at silver and gold level.